Hello, everybody. Um, well, it's the middle of the day. I'm back in New York from Chicago. And I really want to chat to you about so many different things um, which happened lately. Uh, first of all, let's wait till some of you join me, if somebody will. Because I know that probably it's Wednesday, so you're busy doing your own stuff and maybe being in the office and working. I really hope so, that somebody's working. Um, as I said, I was in Chicago uh, yesterday and the day before yesterday. Tomorrow I'm flying to Paris. So I don't think I'm going to have a lot of chances to chat with you guys because it's going to be super busy for me. Um, I'm signing with new agency in Paris, which I'm super excited about. And, um, well, you'll see a lot of pictures, of course, uh, from there. Um, but today I wanted to talk to you about um, a few things. I wanted to talk about this huge scandal which happened in um, Paris, Haute Couture Fashion Week lately. Uh, I don't know, maybe you've heard about it, maybe not. Um, so there is this designer, very famous, let's put it this way. Her name is Ulyana Sergeyenko. And she and her friend Mira Duma were unlucky enough to post this um, horrible Insta story when uh, they call each other the M word, okay? And right now it's just, uh, it went everywhere, on every news outlet, on uh, New York Post even. And especially New York Post managed to call them Russian designers. And they called them out for racism. And I just want to address this issue because, well, I mean, okay, girls said stupid things. Uh, many, many fashion influencers and people like Naomi Campbell um, showed how much they don't appreciate anyone using this kind of words and it's completely unacceptable to use this word, don't take me wrong, but anyway, first of all, it's a horrible thing to, you know, say Russians said that because right now situation between America and Russia is a point where, you know, <laughs> I say snow and they call me racist. And it's absolutely disgusting. And I think it's just creating problem out of nowhere. Uh, it's not like they call black people the N-word, they call each other the N-word. Which is still not acceptable, but anyway, please, let's not make such huge of a deal. And maybe you've seen that I posted a story about this on my uh, Insta stories. And today I got this um, amazing direct message from the person who was like, Oh, Russia is such a racist country, just remember the World War II. Okay, World War II, really? I mean, just to remind everybody who skipped the history course in school, World War II happened when Germany attacked Russia and tried to exterminate all the Russian population, all Jews, all gypsies, and everybody else. How are we racist in this situation? Just a little history course, but okay. Coming back to you guys, to your questions, and uh, yeah, I'll definitely leave my message out here. So please, 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 Russia has from zero to very little history of racism and please don't call Russians racist if they are not. I mean, every, every country has its uh, black sheep, okay? I do accept that, but I just do not accept blaming my nation for something we have not done. Sorry. Okay, uh, I love you all and let's move on. I see a lot of questions about Playmate of the Year. Let's see, I still don't know what's happening with that. Um, but, you know, everything is possible. So, and I really, really appreciate all your support. So, keep it up, please, for me. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, good afternoon, good afternoon. Ciao. Okay, what else? Greetings from London. Hello. 
Okay. I a single girl. I'm still keeping my private life private for a little bit. But um, yeah, let's see what happens. They say Paris is the city of love. <laughs> no, honestly for me is the city of light and happiness and new beginnings. So maybe they're gonna be new beginnings for me. Hi, hello. <laughs> I need to accept. What is the situation, guys, when now you all trying to do like one big video group chat? What is that? I agree with your comments, Lada. Thank you very much. See, somebody agrees with my point of view. Okay, so if Slavic means slave, why do Russians still call themselves that way? Who said that Slavic? means slave what are you talking about slavic and slave are two different words they come from different origins we don't call ourselves slaves nope <laughs> i mean that's yeah that's weird okay unfortunate thing but ignorance can be put aside yes that's what i'm talking about but let's call these girls ignorant or stupid but let's not call them Racist. They were not racist, they just not so bright. I'm sorry, but that was a stupid thing they did, really. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate for my whole nation because right now people think bad about Russians. Спасибо, что защищаешь родину. Я очень патриотична, всегда была, всегда останусь. Несмотря на то, что почему-то российские журналы меня сильно не любят, и когда я читаю, что пишут обо мне в российских сетях, это очень-очень неприятно. И почему-то Украина любит меня больше, чем Россия. Что странно, учитывая то, что мой родной город, это Москва, поэтому... Окей, чао, чао, Белла, чао, чао. Hello from Paris, hi. Help my bored life. How? How can I help your life? Oh, marry me. Thank you, no. It's not gonna be good for your life, believe me. I noticed they published an apology. Uh, so back to this racist situation uh, story. Yeah, there was uh, an apology, but they still blame the girls because this apology was not an apology for racism. As I kind of understand because there was no racism. That was an apology for stupidness. <laughs> okay, kisses, all I. I hope they were sincere. Well, I hope so too. I um, I'm not close to this girl, so I can't really uh, comment on if they were sincere or not. But let's hope. I like your dress. Thank you. Gucci. <laughs> it's, you know, like every girl has to have her uh, one little black dress and this is mine for every day. As simple as it goes. You're so fucking gorgeous. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. It's so beautiful. Okay, I'm your boyfriend. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Thank you. That's amazing. Uh, okay. Uh, oh my god. Some people write to me that they like the moments when I shake my hair. Maybe I'm doing this way too much, you know? Sometimes when you're kind of like just moving way too much, like Italians do with their hands and everything. I'm like that with my hair. I'm like, Ugh, and this, and that. <laughs> Okay, um, I hope you promote openness and love. I definitely promote openness uh, and I definitely promote love and I don't promote uh, blaming people, so. Okay, black color suits you. Thank you very much, it's my favorite color, so. 
Okay, I am single. I'm not answering personal questions. I'm so so sorry. Um, yeah. Hi, you have very nice makeup today. Um, yeah, I just felt like a little bit of color, and because I don't wear a color, I can use it, you know, for my makeup. <laughs> What's your favorite animal? Um, it's horse, but cats are okay too. Okay. Желтая пресса берет плохой пример с коллег из океана. Take it easy. I do take it easy, uh, but uh, okay. So basically, I was trying to translate it in English, but now I'm gonna switch to Russian for one second. Uh, очень неприятно, когда в твоей родной стране uh, тебя поливают грязью за то, что ты снялась в обнаженном виде. А я считаю, что Россия не такая отсталая страна, как они говорят. И мы уже должны наконец продвинуться и быть более толерантными, меньше расизма, меньше непонимания и больше согласия. Было бы замечательно. Their comments have caused them. Duma was removed from the board. Well, see, that happens in your life, and um, yeah, no comments about that. But thank you for telling me. Where are you from? I'm from Moscow, Russia. Have you ever kissed a girl? I don't discriminate with my kisses. <laughs> so there. Hello from Monaco. Hi. Okay. Sending lots of love from India. Hey. Why are all the Russian girls so beautiful always? I guess it's a cultural thing. We take care of ourselves a lot. Sometimes too much. Can I have your mobile number? For what? Okay, hello from Singapore. I hope to work with you. DM me, please. Uh, just looked up origin of Slavic. Seems like a lot of mixed opinions on what it means. I agree with you. It doesn't necessarily mean slave. Uh, do you like your photo shoots in black and white or color? It depends, really. Uh, right now, the influence of Instagram is so big, and on Instagram, I pretty much never use black and white. But black and white images are so classy and so amazing, so I personally like black and white. Hi, hi. Okay. I couldn't agree with you more about the racism and pointing out that she was Russian. I agree with you, trying to make Russian look bad. That newspaper is a joke. Thank you guys, thank you, I really appreciate your support, it's, it's amazing. You know, it feels really great that no matter what happened in politics and media, you know, like normal people understand each other and love each other and there is no hate between you know, like normal general people like you and me. It's all so stupid, like all these political tendencies. It's ridiculous. Do I have a boyfriend? Again, I'm keeping my private life private for a moment. Maybe I'll change my politics soon. Inbox me your mobile number. Okay, hi, hi, hi. Hello from Dubai. Who chooses you or the photographer? Normally the client chooses. So I have the less, like I have zero power on the shoot. Uh, so it's uh, client or the photographer or the creative director. Okay, Slavic means someone who speaks his, her own language according to the Greek. See, there are so many explanations of this word. Interpretation. 
Okay. The confusing part of it is many blacks use the word and it's misleading. Exactly the point, because she used it, she actually didn't use this word, she used the line from Kanye West song, which we all know about, so it was like a quote, it wasn't even like, she wasn't saying it, right? So, yeah, I mean, maybe, okay, I'm not gonna really get into that, because next thing you know, they're gonna call me racist. But maybe if black people wouldn't use this word, nobody will use this word, and then it's just gonna die and be forgotten forever. Just an idea. Uh, what's your birth date? It's 29th of June. I'm Cancer. Look who's back! Hey, hey! Uh, oh my god. Somebody is comparing me to the car. Incredible. Oh, be my Valentine. It's not Valentine's Day yet. So, actually, I so don't like Valentine's Day. Like, really. I think I have, like, childhood trauma about this day. So, yeah, I don't like it. But I'll definitely buy something nice and romantic. Just because. Uh, you have awesome apps, actually. Thank you. My apps are very happy. <laughs> hello, hello. Hi, I'm from Pakistan. Hello. Uh, red lips to you too. You look nice. Great. Uh, I do give private Russian classes. No, I don't. <laughs> uh, okay, give me a flying kiss. Uh, this is the reason I want to be a photographer. Great. Uh, I hardly ever see on Twitter why. Because I started Twitter at some point and then I realized that first of all I don't have time for it. Second of all I can share all my personal opinions right here uh, online with you guys. So why would I tweet about it? And third of all, Trump is on Twitter. That's a reason enough not to be there. He scares me. Um, usually it's not what you say that makes you a racist, but how you feel towards a person. Exactly my point. The situation was one white girl said to another white girl, to all my Anne in Paris with like love and kisses and smiles and actually she sent flowers so i mean she loved that other girl they were like best friends why is it racist it's stupid it's not racist okay um I check you in Barcelona and I have to say that you're beautiful and friendly. Uh, how do you think about the people who says models are rude? Well, because there are a lot of rude people. I wouldn't say models are rude, but I mean, I have to say that sometimes when girls are overwhelmed with a very hard work and people still wanna talk to them, they wanna touch them, they wanna take a picture of them, Sometimes we come up as rude just because we want to protect our privacy a little bit. So I really apologize for that. I hope I never make this kind of impression on you guys because I love you so much. Uh, go to Vandor Maria and enjoy. Uh, I don't have enough money for Vandor Maria. <laughs> it's like jewelry and watches. <laughs> Hi from Turkey. Hello, hello. How did you become a model? Uh, a friend of mine, like some random friend who I haven't seen for ages, took a few pictures of me and I posted it on uh, some kind of Russian social media, uh, something like Facebook, it's called Kontakte, I think. And uh, there was this photographer from Russian model agency. He contacted me, he was like, oh, come to my place, I'll take a few pictures of you. I was like, yeah, right, you'll take a couple of pictures of me. 
I was very skeptical about that, but after some time and some consideration, I decided to take, uh, to accept his proposal. And actually, he was like real legit photographer. He took quite a few pictures of me. He introduced me in the Russian motor agency. Uh, honestly, it didn't give me anything because I still believe there is no fashion in Russia. Uh, but it gave me like this base uh, to me. It's real fashion world people. And um, later I got introduced to my uh, manager with whom I work till these days. I love her very, very much. She's like mother, my second mother. Um, yeah, that's how it happens. Hey from France. Hello, hello. Uh, I agree and in no way do I believe you are that way. On a different note, are you walking in any upcoming shows? I don't do shows for quite a few years, not anymore. I don't know, maybe I will ever make a comeback, but... I don't think so. I like your blonde hair, thank you. Trump is on Twitter, I love it. <laughs> Unfortunately, he is. A lot. Okay. What's your favorite sports? You mean what I do or what I like to watch? I love to watch uh, basketball and hockey. And I love doing boxing myself. Uh, and kite surfing, actually, too. Can you all see me? Yeah, we all can see you. Okay. Usually people are uglier on video compared to pictures you are not. I just know my angles. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Okay, so somebody called 2020 Influencer said, you got a lot more curvy since I first met you in New York. What are you talking about? First of all, I don't remember you. Maybe you can remind me. Uh, second of all, I didn't get more curvy. Sometimes when people say, oh, you got more curvy, it's a polite way to say, oh, you're fat. What are you saying, my friend? Uh, your English also got a lot better. Uh, I always spoke the same way. I think it's like some hater or some girl who is like, I'm jealous. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, remind me who are you because I really don't remember. Oh, somebody just told me fuck you. Thank you very much. Fuck you too. Enjoy your day. Earth is flat. Maybe. I don't think so. A uh, kiss from Argentina. Hello, hello. Okay. Uh, which is your favorite photo shoot destination? Uh, someplace warm. I love shooting swimwear. So I think maybe Maldives will work or Turks and Caicos. Anywhere in uh, Caribbean would be perfect. So. And um, yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Um, what is the role of a manager like? What is her job? Uh, her job is to get me signed with great agencies all around the world and to see my career actually growing, me going somewhere. If I have a different uh, difficult decision to make uh, according some jobs which I don't like, not like I don't like, but I don't know if they're good for me, good for my image, good for my reputation. I ask her and she tells me her opinion because she's been into this business much longer than I have been there. And um, I respect her very much. Okay, curvy in a good way. Okay, um, remind me who are you, where did we meet? <laughs> Some people invite me to Valencia in Spain. Thank you, that's super cool. I'm sure that's a fantastic place. How to learn Russian the easiest way? There is no easy way to learn Russian. It's super complicated, difficult language. And honestly, for me, it took years and years to learn it properly. <laughs> and I still make mistakes sometimes when I write, so... Um, 
yeah, I'm sorry. I wish I could say something, but I believe for uh, you know foreign people, it would take at least three, four years to actually learn Russian and start speaking a little bit. <laughs> My parents think it's time they meet you. I don't want you to feel rushed, obviously. <laughs> Your parents and all your family can totally meet me here online and I'll talk to them. I love the dress. Thank you. It's actually a really affordable one from Gucci because it's so simple, you know, and minimal. Uh, I don't know why they even made it, but it's perfect. I love it. Uh, what is the special care you do for your hair? Please tell. Okay, I mean, it's obviously uh, the salon where uh, I color it and I cut it. It's Sally Hershberger here in New York. And I go to see Kirsten over there. Uh, she is my colorist. The color is great. I really love it. And no special care. I take Vivis Cal. It's the supplement for hair. Uh, it's like vitamins. And I use a river shampoos, conditioners, masks, everything. So it's very simple, nothing special. <laughs> Eric. Okay, nice cabinets. Yeah, that's my kitchen. <laughs> Show your tattoos, I don't have any. What's your favorite model? You mean a uh, female model? Uh, it's Doubts and Crest. And maybe Natasha Polly also. You speak French. Uh, oui, je parle français, mais très peu. Excuse-moi. Uh, I wanted to ask you a question. How did Sukobleit came to existence? Okay, in Russian, we have so many bad, 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 dirty slang words. It's insane, really. Like, you can basically speak just with this dirty language and somehow it will all make sense. So, yeah, that's... I don't know how. It's just part of our culture, I guess.